Welcome to this Windows channel and today we are talking about the new build. Windows has officially a new build for Windows 10 and it was released by Microsoft yesterday, uh, June 29th. Exactly a month before the final release. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's actually uh, something they wanted to do. And it's Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview Evaluation Copy Build 10158. Now, I really had a hard time with the last build, which was 10130. It was buggy, it didn't work. And you know what? I wasn't even able to update from 10130 to this build. And that was a problem because the. Um, build is for fast ring only which means that it doesn't have any uh, image files to download to install from scratch so I had to figure out how to actually find myself an image from um, a torrent site and that's where I found it and I uh, used the Windows Insider key which worked fine in installing the version and I was able to install from scratch with this build. Um, install went super well, even faster than previous builds. So um, I think they're really tweaking the install process to make it as good as possible. It was a fast install, it worked well. It asked me for a product key, which I in, uh, inserted, which basically is the same product key that they give insiders when you go into the insider program. Um, it's the first time it asks for a product key so it's interesting for that and so um, you have to be a fast ring tester to get it it does not have image files of course like I said I found it on a torrent site and uh, always by the same guy there's this guy that makes these image files and that's very interesting because uh, from that guy uh, it's interesting to have these uh, you know it's always I, d I don't want anyone to go to torrent sites because it's very complex and you know what you can really really have builds that have viruses and all sorts of pro problems so I, I don't really want anyone to go there basically you'll go to 10158 from your 10130 build uh, it's interesting because a 1030 I had a lot of feedback on that a lot of people had problems a lot of people had no problems at all so it seems that it depends on the hardware that you have the computer you used it's very interesting uh, install went super well on 10158 and I can tell you it's been more than 24 hours that I've been using this build very intensely I've been working actually with this build I've been doing all the work that I need to do with this build um, as if this was my main computer and my first observation is the build is fantastic it's extremely stable it works so well it actually tells me that Windows is pretty much ready for its release on July 29th because it really really works well and it's just just a great build fast uh, what's new in build 10158 well if you've seen my video of the build the leak build 10147 it's not that much different from it but um, for those that have not got you know, from one um, any any league build, basically, uh, you've got you know from one zero one three zero to one zero one five eight. Um, you've got a few changes, of course. You have Microsoft Edge, which is that nice, very Internet Explorer-like browser icon, and Microsoft Edge has really, really been improved, and it's even been improved since the league build because even on the leak build I was not able to download files I was not able to upload YouTube videos for example and now both of these things work with my Microsoft Edge so it means that they really really took a big step in improving how it works now one little funny story about this is while going to a Microsoft <laughs> website to check for um, information on updates uh, it actually told me Oh, um, your browser isn't supported you need to use Internet Explorer and that I have to say I found it kind of funny 
Um, but you know, basically it works really well. Uh, it has um, a number of improvements, of course, including uh, new tabs and also the fact that you can actually take a tab. So for example, if I have a tab here with Wikipedia, the other tab is with the MSN start page. Uh, I can actually move the tab and have it in a separate window suddenly. So now I have two edge browser windows open instead of having two tabs. Uh, things like that. You know, I've already showed you these things in the build, uh, league build 10147. You, of course, have the share. So if you click on an article, you want to share it with someone, you have the share button that opens a Windows 8 like uh, kind of tab on the right side of the screen where you can share with OneNote, uh, by email, by whatever app will be uh, installed that it can share through. Everything is going to show here. Uh, of course, once again, you still have the settings, including um, the light and dark teams. So if you rather have a dark team instead of a light team, it's still there. Uh, changes to the start page, stuff like that. You have the reading view, which is a very nice feature in Windows 8, and it's still continued here. Uh, the reading view is fantastic because if you like to read articles on your computer or tablet, reading view actually takes an article and removes all the ads and just keeps the article and the pictures, which is very, very nice. And I've been using a lot of um, that feature on my different uh, computers. Um, there's more options and also the browser itself and uh, it's quite interesting. Still have the possibility to uh, you know write or just you know change stuff and share that with your uh, friends and so on which is also a nice feature of uh, Microsoft Edge. It's a fast browser. If um, you know what I'm, I'm not doing any tests because this is still a build but when Windows 10 uh, will be released in July 29th, I will actually do a, f a speed test between Edge and Internet Explorer. We're going to check what speed, but you know what, Microsoft Edge does seem to be quite fast and faster than in the Internet Explorer. I think faster than Explorer has ever been basically. So it's really, really an interesting uh, build for that. Um, apart from that, we also have, um, you know, a few improvements of the uh, interface itself, but mostly, um, you, you know, bug fixes. But um, one of the interesting features is that the uh, start menu has now, uh, you know, get office, of course, like in 10147, you can get the solitaire collection. It's been included in here. You've got a lot of interesting things uh, that have been uh, added. All of the modern um, universal apps have been also kind of um, modified and added, some of which you have to download from the Microsoft Store though. Um, one interesting feature also, because I was not sure that tablet mode was that great for someone using a touch tablet for Windows, and that worried me a little bit about the future of what's going to happen, but well, you know what? Uh, they've really improved tablet mode a lot. They've also added the app and programs uh, bar on the left side of the screen. So if you have a touch device, you can swipe from the left side of your screen and get all the programs and apps that are running that are going to be shown here, which is very, very nice. Uh, of course, this, you still have the hamburger menu on the upper left to get uh, all the different uh, options of your start button. So I think they're slowly starting to get the hang of how to do a touch uh, Windows 10 that's going to be a good device, a good operating system, and still you know, get a great operating system out of uh, desktop users, basically. Uh, the menus themselves um, are pretty good. Uh, most of the menus are uh, okay, like for example the settings and all of that, but there's nothing really changed much in here except for the fact that the contrast is improved. There's a little more contrast in pretty much every menu uh, that we use. Of course, um, you still have the control panel and the settings which are separate. That's kind of a little awkward, but you know, working in the future I think this could be uh, something they're gonna fix. Um, you also um, have um, a great uh, the file explorer basically uh, which has been you know kind of tweaked uh, less really fancy colors more like 
regular uh, folders and stuff like that. I think that's a nice little add-on. Still need maybe a little more contrast, but it's better than it was. Before it was like too white. The text was not like dark black. It was more like grayish. And it made it like a little bizarre to view this. Um, they've improved that a little bit also. Uh, so it's really interesting. Stability, fantastic. No blue screens, no errors, no freezes, nothing wrong. And that is the first build that I can actually say I've got zero issues with. Not even my really uh, problematic, in the last three builds I've had the Windows uh, driver for the display that always crashed and it's not crashing anymore. All of that is fixed. So uh, I think they're working really hard. And you know what? It's been like a month before, for the last build that we had officially. And um, I can say here that it really shows that they really worked hard to make it better. And it actually makes me feel good about Windows 10's release in July. Because I think this is close to ready for release already. So this is going to be nice. Um, a little feature that, uh, or a little thing that I need to uh, rectify, because Microsoft changed, you know, they issued like four different statements. And one of the first one said, oh, you got an insider build, you'll have Windows 10 for free. And well, no, apparently it's not the case. And uh, it's a little sad, because I think that all Windows insiders should have a Windows 10. But it doesn't mean it's not going to be the case because we're still, you know, that's what they said. But when we're going to get there, we're going to see what's going to happen. And also the fact that the Windows Insiders still get previews because even after the release, Insiders are still going to be there. So you'll be able to see new features of Windows 10 before everybody, which means basically you'll have a good working Windows 10 and just have new features. So it's going to be interesting to see that. Uh, coming July 29th and so um, great build I think that if you were waiting for a build that works fine I think 10158 is one um, wait for the image files to be available uh, so that you can install it uh, also one thing that um, I want to say is for surface tablet users that had a lot of problems with builds because you guys had a lot of really problems with the builds um, 10158 is the first build that apparently works really well on most Windows tablets. So this means that if you've got a Surface, you can go ahead and use 10158. I think that's going to be a good build for you guys. And uh, it's really a good build on my computer anyway. This is a Core i3 machine meant for Windows 7 here and it works fantastically well on this. And last but not least, for all of those that are still telling me that I'm wrong. No, Windows 10 is free for Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 users and it's gonna stay free and no there are no subscriptions. Don't say there is, don't say I'm wrong. I know what I'm talking about and it's free and it's gonna stay free uh, and no subscriptions. So some of you said oh well there's gonna be subscriptions for updates. No, Microsoft said that there will not be any subscription form for Windows. So, uh, you know what, this is free, it's going to stay free. And for those that wonder if we're going to have uh, image files so we can do clean installs, uh, basically what Microsoft says is that the first install will need to be done through your operating system. So Windows 7 to Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. But after you got that, you will be able to create boot devices that will enable clean installs. Apparently, also, there will be available some image files for download that you can actually boot from also. So these are all things that you need to check for uh, eventually. But yes, clean installs will be something that everybody can do. Uh, you know what? When you have a new operating system, it's always fun to have a clean install for that just to fix problems that uh, you know might arise from just upgrading. And you know, having just a clean install is fun because you know that your computer is really at the fastest pace that it can be. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything about this video, 
about Windows 10, maybe you're running 10158 and you want to know or you want to share your comments with uh, us, why not? I'd like to have your feedback. There's a lot of feedback and I love that. You guys have been great for that and I want to have all of your feedback. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again on this channel.